Next, our weekly Brief but Spectacular series where people talk about their passions. Monica McGinnis and Aaron Rodriguez spent two years traveling 80 miles to a hospital in Oakland, California, so their eight-year-old son, Devin, could receive treatment for cancer. They share their experiences with us tonight. Devin is my son. He's eight years old, and he is the brightest little boy ever. It was beginning in April. It was about a week before the hospital. Before the hospital trip, he was having. I got out the shower and I seen him trying to use the restroom, and it was hard for him. And then I told her, make a doctor's appointment because I think he has a, a UTI. Mm -hmm. So they did the ultrasound, and that's when they found the mass. They found. But they didn't know like what the mass was until we went to Children's Hospital Oakland by ambulance, and then we stayed the night there. And then the very next day, they told us Devin was going to go in for a biopsy. And, um, you know, he went in for his biopsy. And after that, they let us know that Devin was uh, diagnosed with stage four embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma. He took the diagnosis, I guess, very well. I guess he doesn't really didn't really understand. He just knew he was going to be, you know. That he was sick. That he was sick and he was going to get bald. It was really serious that he couldn't, he couldn't actually die from it. And that was the hardest thing to tell my son. Yeah. He just got quiet and just took it all in. Yeah. He's a really strong little boy. He is. And he took it to heart, and that's the day he started fighting. It was very hard. Just to see my son, man. Just when I thought cancer, I thought all I heard was death. His first question was, was, was is my son going to die? die? That was, I mean, because... Everybody hears cancer and everyone thinks death. Yeah. We spent his birthday, New Year's, Christmas, yeah. Halloween, I think Easter, holidays. every holiday, birthday we spent at the hospital. They really made him feel comfortable, which made us feel at ease as well because when Devin is feeling good, we are feeling good. What do you have to say to other parents who are going through what you went through? I can handle it one way. As you can see, I'm a crier and yeah. she holds back. And plus, Just, you can't really find somebody silver lining for them. You know, you can't say, oh, everything's going to be okay, or they're going to, they're resilient. She'll, you know, we as parents don't want to hear that. This is our child. He shouldn't have to be going through this. He should be playing Little League, and he should be going to school instead of having to take the year off to get chemo, you know. Try to explain to all of your loved ones and family members and friends what exactly childhood cancer is and what you go through as parents. As of three weeks ago, Devin is... No signs of cancer, so he's back He's back to, in school. He's doing really good, um, fighting with his brothers and sisters, you know. Getting on our nerves. Getting on our <laughs> nerves. It's changed my life by appreciating my kids or Devin even in the bad times when he's on my nerves because I missed that the whole time when he was going through treatment. My name is Monica McGinnis. I'm Aaron Rodriguez. And this is our brief but spectacular take on childhood cancer. And we are so happy to hear that Devin is doing really well. And you can watch additional Brief But Spectacular episodes on our website, pbs.org newshour brief.